Let's move on to the Boston Bruins. I, I reached out to both Kevin Paul DuPont and Matt Porter from the Boston Globe. Here are their thoughts. He would probably pair with right-handed D Charlie McAvoy or Brandon Carlo, depending on how. I'm sure all teams are going to experiment a little bit when they get a new player of this you know nature, and they're they're going to find out the best fit. Um, but it would bump Matt Krizelik out. Um, you know, one of the things that Kevin Paul DuPont said to me is like, I'm not even sure that getting a defenseman should be the Bruins' priority. Hampus Lindholm and Charlie McAvoy can carry that back line for the next seven to eight years. He feels like they need a top six forward more to, you know, given the futures of Patrice Berger on David Krejci, they're, they're going to have two giant holes in the lineup. So do you want to tw- try and acquire something for that? Um, but there's also the sense that the Bruins could and should be all in this season. This is a, this is a group of players, really the, the players I just mentioned, like Patrice Berger and Brad Marchand, my good friend, Brad Marchand, um, <laughs> Their window is is closing, right? It's it's not going to be open for long. They won a cup back in 2011. It's been that long since they Crazy. won the cup. And it's been an incredibly consistent team over that stretch. Everyone knows by now that has followed me for a while that I have a total man crush on Patrice Bergeron. He's a, <laughs> an incredible player. But it's not, it's not going to last forever. And with what they're doing this season, do you say... All in this season. We do everything we can to make sure we win another cup before this incredible group of players, including this amazing leader, is gone. And it it validates Patrice Bergeron's career, too, if he wins that second cup. It's just not a one-off. He gets his second, and, man, it it could be really interesting. A couple other thoughts. Kevin also thinks that they'd like to replace Kevin Miller's snarl factor on the back end, which surprises me because when I did my story on which Coyotes are most likely to be traded, not a lot of interest in Josh Brown in the market right now. He's a guy who can fit that role. I wonder if more teams might become interested right around the deadline. What do the Coyotes have to take back in return in terms of contracts to make this work? A bunch of names thrown out. Nick Felino, Craig Smith, Mike Riley, Thomas Noshek. All of those guys are possibilities. And I'll open it well, to you with guys. Boston. Boston for me right now is a team about their depth. And this team is as deep as any team in the National Hockey mm-hmm. League, and that's where they're having success. When you have Taylor Hall lower in your lineup, you've got the success that they're having. The one thing this team does extremely well is they're very active on the back end, especially on the right side. you got McAvoy, Carlo, and Connor Clifton. All three of those guys are very aggressive off of the blue line. you got Hampus Another Lindholm. Another former Coyote, by the way, Connor Clifton. I'm not sure that the Boston Bruins need a Jacob Chikrin. I don't know if they need, again, He if he steps in the Boston Bruin line, lineup tomorrow, he becomes their leading goal scorer on the back end day one over all of those guys. But to your point, the, Bo- the Boston Bruins don't need a Jacob Chikrin as much as I said Toronto does. The Boston Bruins need Josh Brown. The Boston Bruins need somebody that can shut the gate, that can defend, that has good sticks in the defensive zone, that can put somebody through the glass. That's what I think Boston yeah. needs. Cost them less, too. To get through. Yeah, definitely cost them less. To get through what they're trying to do right now. I think they have the guys that can move the puck. Here's the other thing that Matty Porter said to that, because I asked about that as well, and he said, Grizelic has been a concern for them in the postseason. Mm-hmm. He's small. He gets hurt. Yep. Jacob Chikrin upgrades you on size and shooting. He said they're... This defensive core does not have a guy who bombs away like Jacob Chikrin does. So, yeah, on the shot, I, I agree yeah. with that. I just think they have enough of that active offensive defenseman. They really need to defend. That's what I think. So, mm-hmm. again, we've already said what I, my opinion matters as, but I, I I like the fit in Toronto for him better than I do in Boston. I think Boston's the better complete team. I just think they have guys that can provide offense from the back end already. So I'm not sure they're willing to give up those pieces, especially when they see the end is near for their window closing and they need to start to rebuild those assets. So I don't know if they're ready to it's throw those trade-off, out. trade-off, right? Is right. It, do we worry about our future or do we yep. we make sure that we win this cup? This is Where Toronto have, needs it. Have you seen a better opportunity yep. to win a cup than the Boston Bruins have right now? Right. 